Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Life of Barney. Today, we're going to be smoking a pineapple. And it's going to be delicious, and it's going to be a little afternoon treat. Before I go any further though, I want to say thank you to some of our new subscribers. I'm up to 40 subscribers now, which I think is pretty awesome. It looks like people are enjoying the content based on some of the comments that are coming through and the likes on the video. So thank you very much and keep on watching. Tell your friends. Another thing I want to say is it is April 10th, the day I'm filming this video. And look outside. Yeah, it snowed overnight. It snowed overnight. It snowed all yesterday afternoon, April the 10th. That's southwestern Ontario weather for you, folks. Going to tell you about the process for today. The Weber Smoky Mountain will be running at 225 degrees. That's where I've been able to get it locked in. It's extremely windy outside, so it will be harder to control the temp. I wanted to get 250. I'm thinking, you know what? I'm going to let it ride at 225. The recipe says that you can go three to six hours. I'm going to check it at the three hour mark probably do a little taste test at that point too. And if it's tasting perfect, just the way I'd like it, I'm not gonna go any further. I'm afraid it might dry the pineapple out just a little too much the longer it's on there. That's number one. Number two, we're using cherry wood. I put just two chunks on there, so it's not going to be a very heavy smoke. And number three, I will be cutting off the outside of the pineapple and cutting it into maybe an inch to two inch thick strips. This way there's more surface area of the pineapple exposed so there will be more smoke flavor and I can also get more of the mixture of the seasonings onto it as well. Let's begin. See all these little knobs on the outside, from the outside skin? You need to cut those out. Those aren't going to soften up. They're not going to be nice little chewy sweet bits or anything like that. Nope, they're going to be gross and hard and people aren't going to want to chew on them. So get your knife or even a smaller knife if it's easier. You don't have to cut the whole strip off. You just want to cut them out. A knife about this size should do the trick. Roll the time lapse. All right, now that that's all cleaned up, let's get these cut into our strips and then we will slice the bits of core out of each one. Here we go. Just little pie shapes is going to be fine. I'll start by cutting this in half. This thing is juicy. Oh man, does it smell good. There, if you guys, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. I'm going, going to be going about this thick with my pieces. So only about an inch at, at the end of the piece. All right, there we go. So if you come in here and take a quick look, take this guy, it's kind of easy to see, maybe not, I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. There's a little different shaded area right towards the middle. That's the core. It's a bit harder. It, it probably is not going to turn out quite as nicely as the rest of the pineapple. So what I'm actually going to do is just take a thin slice off of each piece to get the part of the core out. And then we're ready to do the seasoning. I'll see you in just a second.
Life of Barney, super windy edition. You can see I've got my high tech windshield up. If you don't want to cheap out on equipment, you gotta get the good stuff. Patio tables are the best part. We're riding at 250 now, it's come up a little bit in temperature, which I'm okay with that. And I don't want to waste any time. So let's get these on. Come on in here. Fantastic. All right, gonna let it ride, folks. Check in with you in about three hours. Welcome back. We are at the two hour and 20 minute mark. I figure I better take a look at these, maybe just turn them, whatever the case might be. Come on in here. We've been holding 250, which is perfect. Even with all this wind, I'm very happy. at all. Here's what I'm going to do, folks. I'm going to take this little guy off, and that's going to be my sample. We're going to see where it's at, and if it's good, then these are coming off. But I'll flip these right now, and I'll see you in a moment when I do a little taste test. Okay, here we are. We're back inside, but we have a problem. I said I'll see you guys when I do my little taste test. Well, the pineapple didn't even make it in the house, so it was absolutely delicious. No, I didn't drop it. I ate it, all of it. I'm going to let the rest of the pieces stay on there until the three hour mark. They're probably two to three times thicker than the little piece I had. So I don't think an extra 40 minutes is going to hurt. And my wife had a great idea. We're actually making pizza this evening. Um, she makes homemade pizza dough and then it's a tradition on Fridays, that's what we do. So we're actually gonna take small slices of that along with some chicken that we have, heat that all up and get it on the pizza for dinner later tonight. So it's a good idea. So we have a little snack and a little garnish for the pizza. I'll see you guys in a bit when these are done. I'll meet you out there when we take them off. In the meantime, everybody, stay hydrated. Cheers. All right, it's been three hours. Let's take a look at the rest of these pieces that are on here. Beauty. All right, folks, I'm gonna get these off and I'll see you inside for the final taste test. Okay, so First time smoking pineapple on the Weber Smoky Mountain. Three hours, like I said, at 250 Fahrenheit. They look good, they look a little dried out, but watch what happens when I cut in here. I don't know if you guys can see in the light, it's glistening, it's because it is still full of juice. I'll take a smaller piece for my taste test little end piece. Here we go, moment of truth. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The smoky flavor mixed with the sweetness of the pineapple is a flavor I was not ready for, but I am definitely putting this one in the books as a must try again recipe. That's, that is awesome. Couple notes, let's have a little analysis here. I noticed that on the outside, it doesn't really look like a lot of the sugar's candied up at all. It's almost as if the juices of the pineapple as they started coming out after I cut it up were rinsing away the brown sugar and cinnamon. And as a result, it didn't cake on or candy up on the outside. 
something I'll have to look into for the next time. But you can definitely taste the cinnamon. So I know the seasonings are still on there. Folks, th this is great. I mean, this would be a fun little treat as a dessert or even just something to have because you're stuck in quarantine and can't go out and about and do whatever you want. So, hey, next time you put your grocery order in, put a pineapple on there, clean it up, and throw it out on the smoker. Three hours, 250, you won't be disappointed. Thanks a lot for joining me today. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. Slap the like button and subscribe if you haven't. It helps me out a lot, folks. So, that's it. And uh, don't tell my parents I was smoking in the backyard. <laughs> I'll see you next time.